Hey! So today's video is going to be a quick and casual one. I'm just going to be showing you a few of the shoes that I purchased recently and they're all from the same place. So I figured I'd do a little review at the same time because I have purchased from this place before and I want to share my thoughts. So this first pair I'm just slightly excited to show you because... Yes! What prompted this decision is the fact that I wanted a pair of heels that have that little strap here and strap on the ankle. But my feet are a little wide and also I just don't really have the confidence to walk in a pair of heels like that because I know there won't be any support. So when I saw this pair, I kind of just abandoned that idea and got these because they are so much better for support. They have a thicker strap here, two here, and that ankle part so it actually holds your foot in. The heel itself is a lot more supportive in that it's a block heel and also that it's three inches rather than like the four or five that you've seen in a typical stiletto. I don't know if you've noticed, but these are also very unique and I thought that was so cool. Like with the detail on the actual leather part, some eyelet detail and cutouts and stuff and the fact that there's two straps and let's not forget the silver heel this may not appeal to everybody but it sure appeals to me second pair I have to show you is a pair of sandals so I justify it being a necessity but these are also super cool because they have this little Cajun area a t-strap they kind of look vintage but also modern I chose this yellow color not really thinking whether it would match everything but I really like it my favorite part about these is definitely the t-strap because it really elongates your foot and like I said I have wide feet so I like that. And the last pair is another pair of heels because we all know how many heels I need. I never wear heels but this is how you start with wedges and block heels. I really like how there's a two tone effect going on so you can match a lot more stuff. You got a nude and a black, two neutrals and then there's some gold in here so I thought it would match quite a lot and I kind of looked in my wardrobe before I purchased these looking at what wouldn't match with these. So I can actually wear these instead, and so that's how I made this decision. I will also tell you the prices I got these for, because that's relevant to the review. So these were $40, the initial subscription price, where you pay that every month, which I will go on to in a second. Instead of paying $39.95 for these, which you would if you bought them separately, you get these for $25 or something like that. And these were sort of a last minute decision because they have this deal going on where if you purchase a pair of $39.95 shoes, you got a pair of wedges for $15. Like, how could I say no? You can only purchase from a select page of wedges, but these are on there and I think these are hella cute, so yeah. So that brings me to my next point, the $39.95 price is actually the VIP price, which is when you subscribe to their website. So basically Just Fab is a website where you can buy shoes and bags and they also have some clothes now and some jewelry I think. You don't necessarily have to subscribe to make a purchase or anything, but you do have to if you want the $39.95 or whatever, which is their VIP price. If you did want to make a purchase from this website, I do recommend you subscribe regardless whether you want to keep the membership because you can just cancel. You have to call though, which is super annoying. It's kind of my beef with this website. You can actually skip the month every time you don't want to buy shoes as well, but that also gets annoying because then you have to remember to skip. I highly, highly recommend that if you're going to do this, make sure that you have like an alarm on your phone or something so that you can actually remember to skip the month, otherwise your credit card will be charged and that's so lame. That being said, with this particular website, since it's just shoes and there's a lot of shoes and bags and stuff, I find that even if you do get charged, you'll eventually be able to make a purchase that you want basically because the one time, I'm going to show you a pair of boots right now that I bought before, these boots are my everyday combat boots. I wear these non-stop and I don't really wear my black ones anymore because they're kind of ripped up a little bit. Also brown ones tend to kind of look more like girly and I don't know. Black ones tend to look harsh sometimes so I like to wear those. Anyways, I had been looking for a pair of brown combat boots and then they charged my credit card without me knowing because I forgot about it. But then when I found those, I was like, well, I would have bought these anyway. So I feel like it's not that bad if your credit card gets charged. Obviously, it really sucks at first when you're charged when you're not anticipating it because it's just like $40 gone. But thing as you got charged when you were still subscribed, you probably want to make purchases in the future anyways and it doesn't go away. So you can just use it whenever you want. Back to these boots. These are freaking phenomenal quality. I have gotten so many compliments on these and they actually have only lost a bit of shape and I've had them for like, I actually don't know how long I've had them, but probably since the fall. The zipper is one of the places where you can tell if it's high quality or not and this is like a really good zipper. It's kind of weird, but I, it's always how I tell with boots and stuff. If they're good quality, they'll have a really nice smooth zipper. Definitely one of my favorite pairs of shoes of all time because of their comfort level and versatility and whatnot. The other pair of shoes I want to show you that I bought a while ago, I think it was during Christmas time when I wanted Oxfords, are these. These are pretty sweet. I really do like them. They're comfortable. I walked around in New York all day with these and it was fine. I do have an affiliate link, but it's not like through the company like contacting me or anything. I wasn't going to give you guys the link until I realized that you actually benefit more from signing up from that than you do from signing up the first time just on your own because you get 20% off your first purchase 
when you sign up through the website, but when you sign up through an affiliate link, you get 50% off your first purchase, and that's kind of win-win. So if you were interested in the site, I obviously recommend you click the link, but also set reminders on your phone so you don't get charged every month if you don't want to. So thanks so much for watching, and make sure you look out for a lookbook soon, because that's why I showed you these shoes in the first place. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!